Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chitin. As you know, my channel name is Astronomy in Ten Minutes. So, as you know, my channel name is Astronomy in Ten Minutes. So, without wasting our more time, let's start our today's video with title: Earth, Past to Future. It means in this video, I tell you about uh, every. I tell you everything about Earth past and how. Are Earth to like in future? Okay. To so easy to understand, I divide video in three parts. First, Earth formation. Second, our current Earth, and third, our future Earth. Okay. So let's see how our Earth form. It is really a so interesting story that to know how our Earth form. Actually, our Earth form by our nebula called Solar Nebula. All stars and planets present in this universe is formed by nebulas, and the nebula from which our Earth form is called solar nebula. And it you can call nebulas planetary nursery, where all where all type of planets and sun like sun like stars form. Not in some, not in five to six stars, in hundreds of stars formed by one nebula. Our Earth estimated age is 4.5 billion years. Yes, 4.5 billion years. Our Sun formed 4.6 billion years, and our Earth formed just 100 million after our Earth, our Sun formation. And when our Earth forms. It is nothing but but a group of some rocks that come together due to gravity, and in at that time, Earth lava is flow in Earth like today's water. At that time, Earth have lava pools and lava oceans. You can call that time of Earth a real hell. So now you know how our Earth form. Now let's see how our current Earth take place. So for now, our Earth is six six thousand six three hundred seventy one kilometers, and our Earth circumference is forty thousand and seventy five kilometers, and our Earth surface area is five hundred ten million and seventy two thousand kilometers square. It is the densest planets of our solar system. For now, our solar system have four rock giants and four gas giants, and Earth is the densest from all of them. And Earth is the most special planet of our universe for now, because for now it is the only planet that have life. And for now, Earth comes in third position in terms of distance from Sun. And with this, our Earth seventy one percent of part is covered with water, and only. 29% of part uh, have land it means in this part humans live let's see how this water coming out i really like to talk about this topic because it's so interesting there are so much of theories how water i mean earth but the most famous one is uh, as the comets according to this theory the all water present in earth is come by a uh, when a late heavy bombardment bombardment happens on earth because of this all water is trapped in comets released in earth and sometimes this believe it is the main reason why should life sustain in earth and it is also the reason how life can go in other planets in making our today's earth humans have a so massive role not in good way in bad way because due to humans, our L temperature rise by one degree, just rise by one degree, and because of this, in past 50 years, the number of natural calamities is almost double. And I have one more bad news: some scientists believe at the end of this century, our L temperature rise by 1.5 degrees. So you can imagine what happened after that. And don't stop this thing here. So some scientists believe by the year 2032, our most of the massive coastal sorry coastal cities will sink, like Venice and Mumbai. And now we will see how we can stop this no nonsense 
it, it please rise if you are able to afford five crowns in our life so please do this due to this if each and every person of this world only plant five plants in our whole life we can stop world warming completely we don't have so much time so please do this action fast so now let's talk about our third point what our earth look like in future i already tell you so much of things about future in our current alt top topic but everything have to expect in the room tells you bad aspect okay so now let's see some good aspect okay so according to some scientist i don't know who is that scientist by the year at the end of this century humans become first type of civilization it's the biggest event in our whole history and at the end in 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 upcoming 300 million years uh, humans become second type of civilization and if we will do this uh, they are nothing like achievement uh, for humans because then we will already achieve everything and but uh, it is and so far thing now let's talk about the thing that you can able to see in your lifetime the coming of robots in place of humans maybe you noticed uh, but in so much of companies uh, robots start taking human places so now most in most of the companies uh, like especially in automobile sector robots start taking human place uh, in car designing motorcycle designing and each and everything and second thing is coming of uh, elon musk some amazing futuristic plans and one of the greatest futuristic plan of elon musk is mark colonization and if elon musk able to complete this mission to so human become interplanetary civilization then the rate of human survive almost doubled So because it, there are so much of high chances that humans end by an asteroid, and then on the second most futuristic project is Starlink. Personally, it's my favorite project because uh, Elon Musk wants uh, to create a satellite network ever uh, on Earth. Uh, now you get internet everywhere. It literally, if you are in forest or anywhere else. you get internet uh, and not non internet high speed internet and anonymous third most interesting plan is neuralink uh, anonymous want to place a chip in your mind that is directly connect you with internet uh, if anonymous succeed your brain power increase by 10 times you cannot imagine what should human do with as much power if uh, along with this project su- success uh, and uh, the more research happens in this way we are able to make this type of chips that increase human brain power by 100 times and maybe if we will do this we become second type of civilization in just 200 million years and it's a big achievement for humans and if we will talk about some more futuristic plans that we can see in future so it is first of all ai ai is the most famous thing that we know because uh, most of hollywood films uh, show ai but ai means artificial intelligence means the inter- intelligence that is created artificially if we will meet ai we are able to send probes in different planets and they are probes make our own copies and send that copies on other planet like that we are able to colonize whole milky way and if humans this project succeed we become one of the f- fastest going creations it's a different thing for now that only creation but uh, if any other civilization uh, present in this universe that have so high chances so we definitely able to contact with them with ai so okay guys now let's end our video and guys if you want detailed information about ai and any other project so just comment me i'll definitely make a new video on it